I do. Here she is. Mm -hmm. to get their cost. 
Um, so it's probably around, you know, maybe, it, you know, it's close with that, with, with one of them, but. So, have, is there any way that we can hook on to the school's dental? Even, they're all town employees. No, they're school employees, and that's why. Oh, they're school or town employee. Mm -hmm. No, because they're a different governmental entity. We're all separate. So, so essentially, the, the point of where we're going with this is that you have better buying power in groups. Mm -hmm. We already have, in that we are grouped with other towns our size that we knew in January. There are four groups with health trusts. Uh, you know, two that we knew in January, two that we knew in July, and they're either large employers or small employers. Mm -hmm. So we are small employers in January. But we still have to get at 75%? And that's not a health trust, yes. It's not a health trust rule. It's like an insurance mm -hmm. law to um, spread. It's risk management. Yeah. The pool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so for this year, so we, we had budgeted like $2,400, $2,500. Approximately, which was prorated for just April through the end of the year. So at that, I think it was $5,600. That doesn't make sense. Um, it was 26, you know what, I have the, I have the budget. And it says in the notes. Um, it's 2614 is what, no. Yeah. So 2614 is the um, prorated amount. 3485 would be the full year amount at that 50-50 cost share. I mean, I think it's easier to have one budget number. I do too. <coughs> I mean, we just need to start earlier yeah. next year. Um, putting it in and we know we don't have our numbers doesn't make sense to me. But if we have changing in staff, then, you know, we might get our numbers if, there, if there's going to be any change in this. But you wouldn't be able to join in, like, May. We can, we can, only because we're not currently enrolled. So we wouldn't, for oh, example, be so able to change, change our health plan enroll. in May. But since we don't have dental, you can sign up for dental at any time. I see. I think it may, uh, is the question to keep it on the budget The question is, yes, the budget. But it makes line. your budget and the budget committee's budget not the same. Yeah. Any budget committee has it on, or not has it on. One dollar. I mean, I think if that situation comes about, we can probably find $2,600. Right. I, I, think it's, I think it's likely that Because they're leaving it younger, at one dollar, so it leaves the line open. Correct. So Younger people will be hired, I think, throughout the police force or the or the firemen. And I think they're more... The firemen are probably it's on the police in the so office. Oh, 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 sorry. In Highline. Yeah, in Highline. Yeah. It has to be full-time employees, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, so it isn't done. That's it. I agree. I think if, yeah. we, if we make it the same as the budget committees, it's just less. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then yeah, find it. But you know, if things change, you're right. I think we can find that in the budget. It would be even less than that at some point. So um, it leaves it open to be able to do something if we needed to, if we wanted to. Okay, good. Thanks for doing that. All right, so we need to, so we didn't do a motion. We need a to make a motion place. for the five, what is it, 50? I'll we'll give you the bottom line of the okay. budget. Um, 2,454,755 matches the budget committee. Okay. All right, I'll make a motion that we um, fund the 2020 budget at $2,454,755. Mm -hmm. All right. Any further discussion? <coughs> Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Okay. Stormwater Asset Management Grant. Um, so, do we need to talk about A2? Um, What's that for? Budget presentation. I thought that was just in like older. Oh, well, um, we oh, are. Oh, 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 is this for public hearing? Public hearing, sorry. Sorry, so we don't you. have to talk about it tonight, but oh, no, we should talk about fine. it soon. Okay, so let's um, talk about it. So um, the budget committee has not decided about whether, you know, the public hearing is the budget committee's meeting, so it's yeah. up to them how this goes, but typically they allow the governing bodies to present their own budget. So um, 
So, Denise, as the ex-officio, would you like to do that? Do you want me to do that? Do either of the other of you want to have a role in this? So this will be the Warren Articles, um, the financial Warren Articles, in addition to the budget. So we also need to, um, I have a mind to create a PowerPoint presentation to help with explaining what's going on. But I just wanted to put that out there. I mean, I'm not opposed to you doing it if you want to. I mean, I'll be there as well, but I mean, I, if, you, if you're, you're the one that creates it, so you have the most knowledge of what a line item would entail. Mm. Okay. So, it, are you? do you want to do it? Is I'm fine with that. Okay. I just don't want to presume and no. want to, you know. Yeah. You know more than us. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, you know, the, 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 the line to line detail of what happens in it. So, I mean, but if something happens, I will I will do it. Um, okay. So when does that's going to be pretty soon, right? It's on the 18th, Saturday oh, the 18th. I can't believe that it's Jan. It's almost January. Yes. Oops. It is indeed. At nine was usually. <coughs> yes. Oh, I already yeah, have it at the grade school. school. Yeah. Right. In the 21st, if it's snow canceled. Okay. <laughs> Which I hope it's not. It won't. And the school it's one is the week before that, just to let you know. Okay. At 9 a.m. as well in the grade school. Okay. And we, I don't think we have a date for this or I'm No. Okay, so we're all set with Caroline doing it? Yes. And me being back up. Okay. okay. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. All right, Stormwater Asset Management Grant. Okay, so this, um, we've got our approval, but it needs to go on the warrant. I have warrant article language, but at this point, um, as soon as possible, and we're a little bit late in doing so, we need to send out a request for qualifications from engineering firms. Um, we can, so the asset management grant is something that will actually be completed by and large by an engineering firm. Mm -hmm. So we need to, um, because this is grant funded through the state, the state is regulating this process. And so we have to send out a request for qualifications. There are, um, there's a list of qualified engineers on the DES website that we can send them to at least three or all of them um, or any number in between. And um, so I sent to you the request for qualifications in your email. It's a four page document. just. We, we, you know, asking for an, you know, an engineer's qualifications, but um, not their cost proposal. It's just about qualifications for the job. Meaning um, that they have to be like, uh, what do you call, um, it's not registered engineer, it's a professional engineer, PEs. Yes. They have to be PEs. Well, but not just PEs, I think they have to have, they have to be PEs who are, have experience with this, oh, okay. or have some level of um, niche training. Drinking water, civil site evaluation design, stormwater management. Right, so, yeah, yes. So, um, <clears throat> so we need to get that request for qualifications out as soon as possible. I emailed it to you. I expect that you haven't had a chance to. I need you to oh, just this afternoon. Oh, okay. So, um, have a look at it. Um, this, you know, we're already behind and it's Really time what? So to get, to get this out because we need to get the we need to get the request. So so the other thing is, we need to put in there a deadline by which we're going to we want to receive these mm -hmm. requests for qualifications and then open them publicly and take them under advisement. Um, and then once you see all of these, we are going to try to, according to this request for qualifications, we are going to work with the engineering firm we find to be most qualified that we want to work with and work with them to find a price point and work on cost. And only if that is not successful do we go to the second engineer on the list. So I need, we need, to, I need a date to put in the request for qualifications. Um, There's two firms that the water department has worked with recently. Yes. Um, are they within scope? Um, one absolutely is and has been advising us on this project is Hoyle Tanner and they've also, you know, done a number of things for the town. Mm -hmm. Wright Pierce um, has never, that I'm aware of, done anything on behalf of the town, but they may be qualified to 
They've gotten bids from them, I think, but I don't think they've ever gone with them, right? They've always done Hoyle Tanner. No, no they, they, the they've been around. doing... Oh, is they, the other way around? Well, they, they were with Hoyle Tanner, and then they went with Ray Pierce right. for oh, a couple it. of years, and now they're back with Hoyle Tanner. Okay. Um, so we can certainly send it to Ray Pierce, both of them, to, you know... Why are they both... Why do they both have the same name? Like, you know, it's, it's two names. It's why? <clears throat> It's like a law firm. <laughs> yes. So, is there money in the budget for this? It's a Warren article. Oh, it's so a Warren article. It's a Warren article. All right. So, if a Warren article doesn't pass, that doesn't happen. Correct. Okay. So, um, do you want to re review the document, or are you comfortable with the template language going out with a deadline? I was just looking at it, and I thought it looked very nice. I'm very on board with the deadline because we've been burned so many times now with the the stupid truck and the stupid um <laughs> gosh what was that other thing that we got well, the, the, the police the space needs oh we got a deadline for that yeah. um yeah i mean i'm fine with the template language um they must be very familiar with this i'm sure Yes, and this is all just state protocol for mm -hmm. this grant that happens every year. So all these engineering firms are, you know, Hopefully. doing this and expecting this mm -hmm. and have done this every year. Yeah. Are all these engineering firms in New Hampshire? I don't know that. Are there different requirements, different states? Um, n not really because stormwater is a federal permit. Oh, so, okay. you know, they should be pretty much the same anyway. Cool. So the date really needs to, to be before the public air and before the um, vote oh. to make sure that you have enough money. So we need to talk about, so the Warren article will come up at the, um, the public hearing, the budget mm -hmm. public hearing mm -hmm. and the deliberative session. Mm -hmm. um, yes. So, yes. Mm -hmm. Because it could be revised at the, at the deliberative session. Oh, if for it sure. Wasn't but enough, but we should have it the cutoff time before that. Well, Absolutely. That's, that's so I'm hoping for, for two now. weeks. You know, I'm hoping to just send it out tomorrow, have it be two weeks. Okay. And it should be pretty quick and easy. Um, if it's all right with you, I'll make them do um, at the end of a day, on a business day, okay. and then um, you all can come and look at them. I'm asking okay. for four copies so that you can each have your copies and read through them, and then we'll revisit. Okay. I think two weeks is fine. What yeah. do you think? Okay. 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 Is there any chance I, I we've been doing um, work recently, and we've the uh, contractors. I don't know if it's different for engineering firms, are just completely, completely overwhelmed. Is there a chance that we put this out and they just say, no? <laughs> of course. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Of course. Okay. And then we. And then what do we do? Put it back out again. Well, Hoyle Tanner is the one that brought this to our attention. Right? Okay, okay, okay. okay. And, and then, right. <laughs> yes, and so I'm sure that's right. a lot of the culprit work and stuff like that, too. Okay. So I think that they're not like they would say that. no. I don't think they would say no. I, it I, might be more or less than what we're proposing it should be, but yes. Yeah. Right. Okay, cool. Okay. Good. All right. Um, purchase order 1781. Okay, so Somewhere that is in the other folder. This That's, one? Yes. You'll see it's yellow. Um, the highway department is asking um, the board if you would consider... So this is, this is the purchase order to um, buy roof trusses and supports for um, roofing over the recycling bins. Mm -hmm. um, they would like for the board to consider um, revising the purchase order by $1,000 to purchase additional trusses so that the last bay in that line of bins can be enclosed as well for recycling the storage. Um, the contract that they don't want to do the compactor yet, though they agree that there's a need to do so because they feel as though it would be best to do that at the same time as um, replacing the shed. They want to buy materials, build a new shed, that shed's falling apart um, and has been... But they haven't budgeted that. Well... <laughs> <laughs> but, well, let's be honest about it. They haven't, right? 
I, I think they can. I think they find that they can do it within their existing um, building maintenance and repairs. But you know, it wasn't budgeted above and beyond that. So yes, it is. You know, it is the risk that you buy materials to do that, and then you know the heater goes wrong or something like like that. So so they want to wait into the compactor at the same time that they're re, you know making a new shed so that it's all. Is the shed the little? Um, the little structure or the large structure? Yeah, the little, I, I the, 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 the guard hut at the top. The compactor oh, okay. on the left. The um, the shed that goes with the compactor on the left. Oh, so there's two sheds on the top. There's yes. Two. Oh, I only yes. noticed yes. one. Okay. Yeah. I see. They're both enclosed where you can yeah. press the compactor. Yeah. Button. So, um, so no, it does not include the compactor. So, where are we on for 2019? Available funds? Um, you're fine and you, it, in that whole total picture. Yes. I, I guess I just don't understand. So they said $3,500 would do, I thought it was all the bins. So there was well, the right, and so they didn't budget properly, and this is you <coughs> okay. know, a mea culpa that it didn't include the last bin, and they had an aha moment and thought okay. that would be really um, well, a relatively inexpensive way to create storage for. Um, veiled recyclables. So it's it's changing the, per, the overall purpose. It's not currently being used, so it's about oh, passing I see. unused I get you. space. Okay, that makes sense then. Yeah. Okay, so it's going to be forty-five instead of thirty-five as a proposal. That is what they're asking for. All right. Any just further discussion? Oh. All right. Um, I can make a motion to amend. Uh, I'll <coughs> move that we amend purchase order 1781. Um, so it'll be a total of $4,500 um, yes. for materials for recycling bins. Second. Okay. Any further discussion? Hearing <coughs> none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Okay. Um, so, we want it. You need to have a signature? Yeah, please. I think it's my own opinion, but we need to put some guidelines on budgeting going forward for all department heads. Okay. At and what point? I'm sorry. I, I, I was just wondering, at what point um, does it become a warrant article? I did sign up. Uh, oh, it, um, it has to be like a capital item or, or of some sort and something like that. Like, like a, a purchase? Like a cruiser? Or, or um, yeah. I say it's one of those things. Typically, yeah, ongoing expenses, um, operational expenses, yeah. go in the operating budget. Um, okay. the but day. there is a gray area, and the board has discretion about what it wants to put in warrant articles. There's not a dollar amount or purpose threshold, mm -hmm. though typically larger and one-time expenses are warrant articles. Yeah, yeah. It's mostly like a one-time or. Or like I said, cruisers and equipment. Yeah, expensive equipment. Um, yeah, I think we need to make sure that we talk about budgeting going forward to all department heads and making sure. And I think we need to have better lists of what they are expecting to do within their right. budget on the particular lines, equipment, what you're expecting to buy. Um, they used to do that years ago um, when I served on the budget committee, and they would tell you that I want a chainsaw and I want to, uh, you know, just different kinds of things within that line. It doesn't hold them to it. But it gives you an idea of what they're thinking about and what they're doing. So I think just we should go back into some sort of plan. a plan, right? Instead of just having money out there. And it does seem like there's a sense of there's money left in the budget. What do I need? Kind at of the, thing right the end, now. At yeah. The end. Well, they don't have the money in the budget, so this is coming from the bottom line of the whole entire budget. Oh, this the is they don't have money in the highway. Well, no, well, right? not not in that line. Not in that. Not in that line. Yeah. But in highway, there is it's not much. Not, not much. But oh, there I, is. See. They, yeah, I see. There, yeah, there so is. So this is coming from the bottom line, so yeah. which, uh, which we have the right to do. So. Yeah. Um, but I just think that we have to start thinking, and they have to start thinking about long-term projects and those kind of things. And we knew about the shed, and we knew about the bins, and it still didn't get budgeted. So we need to really work on that, my opinion, anyway. All right. Um, 
that is all I believe has to happen in public. Yeah. Oh, um, this is very silly, but I, I know I always come and I say I read something on Facebook. Someone asked about the ice rink on Facebook, and I'm pretty sure we said, like, some uh, recreation was going to deal with it, right? Or not going to deal with it. It falls under the purview of the Recreation Committee if they want to do that. They just, you know, the current membership hasn't taken an interest in that over other yeah. things. Got it. And the liner has been destroyed, so and we don't warm. have our money for a new well, liner. Well, and it's warm. But, okay, so you know, no new liner. So, okay. you know, the committee would have to find a group of volunteers. Um, you need more than one person who would take ownership over it because it has to get shoveled every time it snows right. and, and watered. So there's mm -hmm. maintenance to it, which is the bigger problem and really why it died. Where it is the ice right next to the fire station? Oh, I mean that in the yeah. okay. uh, before the um, ball field. Got it. Yeah, <coughs> yeah I was it just It was a lot of work, so we burnt out one family. On My one hometown family. did the same thing. It's it just, it, well, someone the does it, they always yeah. had to water it. Yeah. So it's you know it's a lot of people that are yeah and one family really got burned out on it so it's a lot of work um, especially with the snow removal and stuff so we really have to have a committee come together and just really just that's all they do so yeah. Warren article for Zamboni we're gonna do that right now ah it's a great idea um, <laughs> what's Abby you can get one from the yeah, great. Let's um, get for you. you that's just a question for the board. That there are some. Um, I, I'm just thinking about one in particular, the cable franchise agreement. Um, oh. We haven't had an update in that uh, about that in a while from legal, and so um, I wanted the board's take on that. Do you want me to check in with him? Um, but you know, checking in with him means incurring expenses. I'm just but up on um, yeah. our t our one year agreement expires in July, so. Um, it's just some, you know, just something to keep in mind. We can do another one-year agreement, or we ought to check in with him and um, okay, all right, revisit it. Let's so. keep it on there so it keeps us keeps right. us um, aware. Okay, so then um, we need to go into non-public permits RSA ninety-one A colon K two A personnel. Uh, so moved. Seven. Is it that one or is it the other one? Well, it's both. Oh, okay. One and then the other. Okay, and then RSA 91A32C, reputation of individual not on the board. Is that welfare and... Um, no, it's not welfare. No. No. Um, if you want an update on welfare, we can do that, but it isn't welfare. Okay. No. So, okay, so roll call. Also, do we have any welfare? No. no. Yes. Okay, um, Jessica? Yes. Denise, yes. Okay, so we are going to non-public. And after that, we are going home. So the yeah. rows are terrible. Oh, I know you guys got it. Yeah. They're ridiculous. Yeah, they're ridiculous.